Hey Win at Love fam, it's your girl Jumonka and I am one half of Win at Love. My husband and I, we run this platform to help equip the black diaspora for a kingdom marriage. So if that sounds like something that you would be interested in, make sure that you do like, subscribe and hit that bell so that you can continue to get more great content. So on to the video. Today, what are we talking about? We are talking about how to position yourself as a wife in the dating marketplace. We're gonna talk all about wife strategies. So if you were here um, in the last video, I talked about the dating market and how it is split into three main subcategories. There's the hookup market, there's the relationship market, and there's the date to marry market. If you have not watched that video, I suggest that you pause this video, go to that video, we'll link it, and get yourself introduced to the dating market. And then once you get yourself accustomed to that, then you can come to this video and we will talk about how to position yourself strategically in the date to marry market. As I said in my last video, I said that the date to marry market is more competitive, okay? Since everyone is not looking for marriage, it takes a bit of strategy to position yourself as a wife and not a girlfriend and not a hookup so that you can ultimately get the ring, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. Let's jump right in. So the first strategy that I can give you when you want to position yourself in the date to marry market is to practice fidelity and loyalty to your husband before you meet him. And I know this is very countercultural simply because you feel like since you haven't met him, who are you exactly being loyal to? This is your prime, you wanna have fun, you want to date as many men, some women they want to be as promiscuous and they wanna have sex with as many men as they can or they want to because they're not ready for marriage. Now, if that's you, this video is definitely not for you, okay? Um, but if you are saying that you want marriage, it is better to think of that sooner than later. Um, men who position themselves for marriage, they do certain things within their singleness for a wife and a family that they do not have yet. You know, we applaud men and we say, oh wow, he bought a house for a family he knows he's gonna have one day. Oh wow, he made six figures because he knows he wants to support his wife and his family one day. But for women, you know, we kind of see, we kind of feel a bit slighted and jaded. Like, why would I be loyal to a man that I don't know? But I do think it is wisdom. It's not that you're tying yourself to this invisible person, right? I'm not saying go be whimsical in the air. I'm just saying as you are dating, you want to have the mindset of, I belong to only one man. I don't belong to 10 men. I, I don't need to be a hundred guys' as girlfriend. Like I said last time, I'm one man's wife. So as you're dating and you're meeting different men, you wanna have the mindset of, I want to be able to give all of me to one man. I don't wanna give myself in pieces to different men. I don't wanna give my body to this man, my heart to this man. Um, I want to date with a certain level of intentionality that if I don't have a ring, then this person is not my husband, right? You, you wanna have that type of mindset of like, hey, I'm messing with this dude and he seems cool for right now, but is he really my husband, right? <laughs> and do I wanna give him all of this before he's even given me a ring? That's what I'm trying to say. The second thing, going in with the first point is to date detached. This is very difficult for a lot of women to do because we are um, very um, emotionally driven. So it's not uncommon for a man to simply say that, hey, you're pretty, and for a woman to just imagine herself all the way at the altar. A man acknowledging that you exist or acknowledging your presence or being around you does not mean that he is your husband yet. It's so important to date detached so that you can properly vet this person and accept them for, for who they are. You don't want to romanticize a version of them that doesn't exist. You want to see them for who they are, ask the question, see the red or the orange flags and investigate. Hey, hold on. I remember you said this. What do you think about that? You don't want to be so enthralled and give your entire heart away because, oh my gosh, someone is finally giving me attention. It's very important as a wife that you keep yourself as the prize and you don't sit here and give your whole heart away to a man who is not committed to you. So the third thing 
Um, third wife strategy is to follow your risk management strategy. My husband and I, we talk a lot about this for women. A risk management strategy in dating is that essentially dating is a risk okay dating love it has a level of risk to it because it's unknown it's it's uncertain right and in order to protect yourself and guard yourself you should have a risk management strategy in place so that you are not wasting your time giving your heart away um and you know you are investing enough but not to the point that you are devalued as a woman so in your risk management strategy perhaps you have um, a limit a limited time that you will entertain a man before he formally asks you on a date if he doesn't ask you on a date within a certain time frame then you, you dump it right you say hey thank you so much for your time i don't think we're compatible and you move on to the next guy right there's a certain amount of time that you will entertain a man before he makes you too exclusive whether he just says that you two are exclusive or you guys are dating i mean not dating you guys are in a relationship or a courtship whatever the case is there should be a point in time that both of you are just focusing your energy and your efforts only on each other. If you're not, okay, how long are you going to wait for a man to make a decision about you? You need to have a risk management strategy in place or else you will fall into a situationship or become a placeholder, right? And how long will you wait in a relationship before you expect a ring? Okay, because if you're dating someone who is marriage-minded already from the beginning, if he's already ready for marriage, then there is no, there shouldn't be any delay. If a man is ready for marriage when he enters the market, there is no reason to delay something for three, four, five years, um, waiting for him to propose to you. He's just probably not that into you. And that is so much of your time, especially in your 20s and early 30s, that is essentially wasted. So you don't want to fall into that statistic. You don't want to fall into that trap. You want to make sure that you have a risk management strategy in place so that you're not wasting time and also if you're a wife you're not wasting time with someone who is clearly not your husband the fourth one is to position yourself in front of established husbands what is a husband a husband is a man of noble character a man who matches your standards and a man who is established and ready for marriage this is very big wives do not sit around and play patty cake with little boys okay it's a huge rookie mistake to become to become a wife to a boyfriend to become a wife to a side piece to become a wife to um a friends with benefits a situation shit. a lot of women feel as if okay the more that i give then eventually if i love him enough he's gonna grow and become this man that i want him to be he's finally gonna get his stuff together if i just keep staying here and pushing him and pressuring him but you have to just date a man who's already at your level because you will waste so much time. Wives don't do that. Wives position themselves in front of husbands. What is a husband? A husband is a man of noble character, a man who matches your standards, and a man who is established and ready for marriage. If he's not those three things, you are taking a huge gamble by trying to wait and pressure him or whatever, you know, years and years and years instead of just cutting your losses sooner rather than later not falling into the sinking cost fallacy cutting your loss and positioning yourself in front of someone who is already ready for marriage and who is someone that you want and the last strategy that i can give you wife strategy is to receive strategy from the holy spirit okay this is so important ladies because you are so limited but when you involve the lord in your process who is the alpha and the omega and he's omnipotent omnipotent and he's um omniscient <laughs> you know he knows everything he has so much wisdom and he knows every single person on this earth when you involve him into your dating holy spirit will give you strategy on how to position yourself how to move when it comes to different men they will even listen god will even give you the tea when it comes to this man and what he's about what his intentions are maybe you don't have you don't naturally have a gift of discernment if you pray and you fast and you really invite the lord and let him um let him guide you in your dating then you'll begin to see oh hold on i'm feeling a bit of resistance hold on i just had a dream and this happened and he cheated on me and yada 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 hold on i'm not feeling settled in my spirit god what is going on 
if you invite him into your love story, you will save so much time, considerable time, right? If you're actually tuned into what he is saying and you know, and like I said, he can help you along this path. So those are the five strategies that I have for you. Make sure that you do leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Make sure you subscribe to Win at Love and I'll see you guys later. Bye.